welcome to the Cryptonomatron channel. I woke up this morning, checked my Ether wallet on Etherscan as I usually do to see if I've gained any tokens from bounty campaigns or anything else. And there was a new token in my wallet that I didn't know what it was. It's called Just J U S T and it had a URL beside it, P O W H dot I O. So, what is it? Well, we'll find out in a minute. But if it's your first time here and you want to know about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, ICOs, blockchain and other related stuff then click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon and you'll get notified when I upload new content and when I go live. Thanks for doing that guys. Every subscriber counts. I do appreciate it. So what is this new token just or J-U-S-T and what is P-O-W-H dot I-O? Well it's proof of uh, weak hands. You might have heard of it before. It's causing a lot of uh, consternation in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency community because people are claiming it's a Ponzi scheme, a pyramid scheme, a multi-level marketing scheme, you name it. Similar to uh, what's gone before like BitConnect and, um, and, and those types of scams. So let's take a little look at it today. I wasn't going to do this video. This wasn't planned. But when those tokens turned up my wallet this morning, I thought I might as well explain them and uh, see what's going on. So first of all, we will look at the platform and then we'll explain what those tokens uh, that have appeared in many, many uh, Ethereum wallets across the globe are all about. So let's start off now looking briefly at the uh, proof of weak hands 3d platform now what is it well basically it is a lending platform where uh, you stake your ethereum uh, or you stake you buy the proof of work coin and you stake it um, based on the value of the ethereum that's put into the smart contract now because it's a smart contract it is actually on the blockchain the devs look very clever but it's also got a satirical element as well it's not serious it doesn't take itself uh, too serious i think what it's actually doing if i had to have an opinion on it is it's actually um poking fun at shit coins that's what it's doing and I think the devs are, are doing this with the full knowledge that uh, you know it is a bit of a joke however people have been reporting that they're making returns on it so you know I thought I, fit, I, I felt I had to do a video uh, to investigate it a little bit further so when you trade or you buy or sell the tokens there's a 10 percent surcharge or transaction fee added that uh, goes to everybody that is holding tokens so the more uh, liquidity the more transactions that happen on the platform the more people get paid out now you can see where i'm coming from here because if people sign up for this um on mass then the people that are already part of it get more money so it's in effect it's like a pyramid scheme almost now the other thing about it is they say they operate master nodes that's not strictly true master nodes here are we're talking about sort of affiliate links and you're at the top of the the pyramid and all your affiliates um uh, kick up to you so it's not really like a, a, a proper master node uh, if you like you you don't really act as a node uh, but you do act as a sort of um pivot for all your uh, uh, you know underlings under you so they even admit they're a pyramid scheme you can see here in the uh, in the image they're not making any bones about it and the website is satirical everything that's on the website is a joke it's tongue-in-cheek it's it's making fun of uh, people that take themselves too seriously uh, so yeah it's funny um, uh, the link is below go and go and have a look at it if you've not already um, but again there's been a lot of people reporting that they've made quite a bit of money off of this platform so uh, you know I thought I might as well bring it to your attention I'm not invested in it I'll tell you now and I'm not recommending it guys as well because obviously it is a risk now the reason I say it's a risk is because more people that uh, pay into it and the busier it is and the more uh, liquid the token is um, the problem uh, will will be when the when uh, you know people get fed up with it. It's 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 hot just now. It's a hot item just now, so you'll probably get returns. But when people get fed up with it in the future, because again, it's a pyramid scheme. It can't keep going uh, forever. It has to stop at some point. And the people that are going to make the most money are the ones that get that get in early enough to to uh, benefit from it. So yeah, you might still make some returns if you go in now. But as I say, I can't recommend anything like this at all, guys. This is I'm just bringing this to your attention. I thought it would be good to do a video, and I was prompted again by that token airdrop that uh, I got this morning so it's much like a ICO investment platform if you like it's got a dashboard where you buy the p3d tokens and then you can uh, stake them and you've got your master node information so there you go um, you can see here um, whenever somebody purchases with your master node link you instantly receive 33% of the buy-in fees they would otherwise uh, pay to the contract in Ethereum uh, so it's uh, 
you know, it could potentially be uh, quite lucrative. You need to have uh, five P3D tokens to apply for the master node. You can't just uh, start affiliate linking everywhere. And I'm not going to bother affiliate linking to this in, in this video or uh, in the description because I'm, I'm not part of this uh, uh, proof of weak hands uh, 3D. The other thing I have to say uh, to bring to your attention is it's, um, you know, because it's one of these pyramid schemes, a lot of these shillers that were involved with BitConnect, uh, you know, um, I'll name them, uh, Craig Grant, Trevon James, uh, to name but two, are, uh, you know, lauding this platform and, 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 and praising it. So uh, that, uh, it should be a red flag and a warning for you all not to listen to those guys. But again, uh, you know, if you get in early enough to some of these platforms, there, there is a potential to make money. I, I, I don't ever invest in them. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I they're, they're completely against what I, I think crypto should be all about, to be honest. Uh, basically, pyramid schemes and scamming people, they've been around for years. Um, and, and they're just not what it's all about really but they are here to stay and, and things like um, uh, this one which has got a satirical element uh, you know it's, it's sort of poking fun at the whole community I think and you can see here there is currently about 8611 ethereum in the contract and that's what's backing the value of the p3d coin and every time somebody buys uh, the um, the coin then it goes up in value but every time somebody sells uh, it goes uh, down slightly. So you can see the risk that's going to be involved there. The more people that are buying in, the higher the value of the P3D coin. Uh, but if everybody started to sell, if, you know, if suddenly there's a crash and everybody sold out, then it could become virtually worthless. So there's a warning for you right away. And there it is on the DAP radar. It's currently sitting at third place on Ethereum's most uh, popular DAPs, decentralized apps. Uh, IDEX Exchange and Fork Delta head the number one and two spots and uh, proof of weak hands 3d is at number three you can see there uh, with 8,620 ether in their wallet uh, the volume is currently about 177 ether per day uh, over a week they're doing almost 3,000 uh, ether worth so that's quite um, quite impressive with a total of 5,717 transactions going through every day, which is a bit less than CryptoKitties, which is at number four, but it gives you an idea of the amount of money that's going at this platform. So they have a wiki uh, so you can find out how to use the platform and um, you know it's got all sorts of information about it. I'll leave the link below if you want to get involved with it. Again, uh, I'm not recommending this at all. This is uh, just for informational purposes only and I really, really can't stress that enough. But there's a beginner's guide there um, at their wiki and you can go and have a look if you're interested to be getting involved with this sort of stuff. Right, so what is this uh, coin, this just coin that's turned up in everybody's Ethereum wallets overnight? Well, it is an exploit that's been found by the devs of this uh, Proof of Weak Hands 3D coin. Now, they're quite clever devs, as I mentioned before, so they know what they're doing here. They've found an exploit. So uh, you can see here from the contract source code, they've had a bit of a, uh, uh, you know, and they seem to be satirical, as I said before, and, and, and quite funny about it as well. And some of the some of the stuff is, is quite amusing, I must admit. Um, it's probably the one, the best reason to visit the website, actually, is to actually read some of the material because it's quite funny. But uh, the coin itself, the smart contract, the contract source code, um, if you are reading this, that means you have just been justed. It looks like an exploit in the way the ERC20 uh, tokens are indexed on Etherscan. It allows malicious users to virally advertise by deploying contracts that look like this. And that's what they've done. That's why those tokens are in your wallet. You pretty much own this token forever with nothing you can do about it until we pull the unjust function. Now, people have been reporting that if they send the token, uh, they get more in return. So <laughs> you can't get rid of it. And even if you try to send it to the Ethereum burning address, it won't burn. So there you go. Um, just try and transfer it away. We dare you, of course, if you do that, you know what's going to happen. I've just warned you. It's kind of like shit posting on the blockchain. Please fix Papa Futilic. And also, we love your shirts. Um, also, we're required to vir virally advertise. Sorry, it's a requirement, you understand. So there you go. Brought to you by the developers of Proof of Weak Hands, um, the first three-dimensional cryptocurrency. Now, I'm not sure whether this is going to really put the shits up people and annoy them, or if it's a brilliant advertising campaign but that's what it is and that's why it's in urethra war and that is basically the video i'm uh, signing off now and again just a final disclaimer i'm in no way recommending this platform whatsoever i've brought it to your attention because uh, of these tokens that were in my wallet this morning and 
um, you know, it's up to you whether you want to uh, take a, a, a very big risk and invest in it. And it is a risk, guys. It really is. All of these sort of uh, staking platforms are. It doesn't matter whether they're on a blockchain, they're on a smart contract. Remember, it's all about liquidity and how many people are signing up underneath you and uh, after you, whether you're going you're gonna to get any money. And again, um, the name kind of says it all, doesn't it? You know, if you, uh, if you hold and stake, uh, then uh, you, you potentially could get rewarded, but you could potentially um, uh, you lose a lot as well. You know, that's the, the real risk there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll be back later perhaps with another ICO review, um, or um, I'm actually thinking about doing another uh, Block Square review. If you don't know, I'm an ambassador for the Block Square project, and I'm enjoying that immensely. And uh, yeah. I'm trying to rebrand the channel as well. Did I mention that? So it's uh, if you see like uh, the thumbnails changing and, and things changing a little bit, uh, that's because I'm doing a rebrand. I'm just I'm just trying to make it a little bit more modern. And uh, you know, as I get more equipment, I've got a webcam now, I've got a proper condenser mic. I'm just trying to uh, work out how to use all this stuff, put it all together. I'm going to get some light in now because, as you can see, there's quite a lot of shadows behind me, and it's not exactly um, you know ideal, and I don't look that great as well. But if you know if that's uh, maybe I think I'm a makeup artist or something I don't know but I, I, you know I have to I have to sort of sort out the lighting so I can actually look like I'm um, you know I'm uh, okay bye bye.